Hi everyone, Lisa here from the Stop, Drop, and Knit podcast. Today, I am here to unbox the December 2023 Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club. I have been holding on to this for a few weeks now, and yesterday was Christmas, and so I am in the spirit of opening all the things finally, so I decided we're not waiting any longer. We're just gonna dive right into this. So let's see what is in this beautiful bag. A quick look into the bag. It tells me I'll probably be pleased with this one because I see purple, although I think that's the bag, not the actual fiber, but I don't know. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna pull out the cards first, like I always do. So, ooh. You know it's gonna be a good one when it says Aurora Borealis, December 2023, Fiber of the Month Club. Okay, so the goods in this bag. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. Purple Emperor Multi Merino, four ounces of that. Luna Moth Multi Merino, two ounces of that. And then half an ounce each of cyclamen tussa silk and chartreuse tussa silk. So let's have a look and see what those look like in person. So here's that purple bag that I saw. I'm pretty excited about this one. It's like a deep, oh, this is so pretty. It's like a deep, dark, dark purple. Look at that. So, oh, that's so pretty. So let's see. So this is 100% merino, I think, right? Yep, it just says multi-merino, so it's multi-colors. It looks like we've got like uh, black and a couple different shades of like midnight blue kinds of purples in there, so. It's nighttime, so I don't have like good lighting with the daylight or anything for this one today. And I'm just recording on my phone, so sorry. I was a little lazy there. Actually, my battery died on my camera, so it is charging right now. But this is so, so pretty. I love it. All right, so that's the merino. So pretty. What else have we got? I'll put that right back here for a minute. And then, oh, I think this one. So we've got three other bags. So I think these, the small two are the half ounce bags. So let's start with this one, which is two ounces, right? This is the Luna Moth Multi Merino. So same blend, it sounds like, but just a half the amount. This is really pretty. So this is Luna Moth. And this looks like different shades of greens and blues, really. So let's see if I can open this up a little bit. Here we go. So, super pretty. I definitely like the purple better, but that's because I'm a purple person, but super pretty. So we've got those and then this one must be the cyclamen. This is a really pretty color. So this is Tessa Silk. Ooh, and you can see it's like, got, that's a really pretty color. I do love this color. That's really gorgeous. You can see it's like got all these flyaways and everything. So that's really fun. This has kind of a crimp to it. Nice shiny crimp so there's that color and then the chartreuse which is this bright green so that's a really pretty green too so these are both half an ounce of tessa silk together those look like that let's get all four of them together and then the the luna moth as well as the purple. So those are all of the colors all together. Ugh, that's really pretty. I don't know if I would use them together. 
I think I would maybe spin this one on its own or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know, I don't know. They are really pretty together though. But, all right, let's see what the cards say. There's a notions bag here too. I guess I should open that and see the little notions. Ooh, that's adorable. Look at that. There's like a little keychain full of crochet hooks. So that's pretty fun. Okay. So we have three different size crochet hooks. So there's a three millimeter, a five millimeter, and a four millimeter right there. So those are really handy for provisional cast-ons and picking up drop stitches and crocheting, obviously. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then there is this pink star stitch marker and always a stash tea. So this month's flavor is peppermint. And then the Aurora Borealis sticker is really nice and beautiful. And purple, which is just the best. Okay, so that's everything in the notions bag. Get those back in here, and then we're gonna read about recommended projects and such things. So, okay. All right. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I know this hat, the Alaska hat. So and that is, well, it doesn't show the full version. That's the in progress. So this month's suggested project is the Alaska hat by Camille Descoteaux. I think I said that right. For the blending, I wanted the bottom of the night sky to be darker. So I saved some of the purple and used it in the first two row legs along with the greens and the pink. Then for the next row legs, I really focused on blending the greens and the pink Tessa so that the yarn will get brighter as I work up the hat. I was okay with losing some of the design in the lower area of the hat, but if you want to show off the color work more, I would suggest I would just use the Luna Moth Merino and Silks for the contrast color blends. That's a good idea, actually. So, like, you could spin this one on its own, and then you could maybe blend, did they, like, these two together? The, yeah, the Luna Moth Merino, which is this one, and the Silks for the contrast color blends. So I wonder how they did that. So then on the other side, and talks about the process. And it says, this month we are offering Fiber Club members 15% off Paradise Fibers blending boards. So I do have a Paradise Fibers blending board. I have not used it yet, but I've had it for a few months, just kind of sitting there staring at me, waiting for a good project. So um, active Fiber Club members get 10% off if you are a club member. And yeah, so there's, I showed that, I think I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have showed that, but I might have to blur that part out because it's got some codes there, but so I don't know. It says pictures of the process, but it doesn't actually describe the process. And that's, that's all we got. So yeah, I guess they blended together. Yep. They really didn't give us any details here. It's really pretty though. So actually, I actually really like it. I really like this one. So I'll definitely spin at least half of this on its own. I have, I've got fiber in my mouth. And then, yeah, I'm not sure. Like these two, these two definitely, I think I would blend these together for sure. And then, I don't know about the pink though. Oh, and I just tore half of it off. I mean, I guess it would look really nice also. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably not gonna knit that hat, so 
maybe I'll just do my own thing. Everything, this one's kind of like staticky. You guys see that? Anyway, so that is the December Paradise Fibers of the Month package. And I don't know how many more of these videos I'm gonna do, you guys. I might just, because honestly, like, I just kind of want to open them when they come in, but I'm not always feeling like filming a video. So we'll see if I do any more of these videos or not, but it's been fun. I've been doing these videos for two years now, every month. My husband gifted this to me three Christmases ago. So I've done like two full years of videos plus the December that I received it as a gift. I am still, he is, continuing the subscription for me. I still am going to be getting the Paradise Fibers subscription. I'm just not sure I'm going to keep doing the videos. I might just kind of include it in the regular podcast. So yeah, not really sure what we're going to do in the next year, but I hope everybody had a fabulous holiday. Let me know if you received the December Paradise Fibers Fiber Club, and I will see you guys in 2024 at least in my podcast, on Instagram, all the things. So if you've been watching these videos, thank you so much for checking in with me every month. The videos just seem to be getting later and later and later. So yeah, but anyway, happy holidays. I wish you all a happy 2024 and can't wait to see all your spinning projects. See you later. Bye.